In baptism, we have a beautiful theology to accompany this. That somehow, when I descend into the water of baptism, perhaps as a baby, what the church, what our faith suggests of this moment, is that our self-centeredness is replaced and that we rise up out of the waters of baptism with Christ at the center. So if Christ is the beloved son, and we know that at his own experience of baptism by John the Baptist, uh, he hears the father's voice say to him, you are my son, the beloved. And he feels the power of God, the Holy Spirit, come down upon him, the gospel says, in the form of a dove. It's as though God's, God's presence is, a, is an overarching, nourishing, protective, empowering presence. Now, what Christ does in baptism is that Christ enables a man and a woman who are being taken into this ritual to become sons of God, daughters of God, united with him and filled with the Holy Spirit, the power of divine love. And that connectedness to Christ is the central point of what baptism is.